subscriber shout out. Welcome back, everybody. It's time to get started in this city today. Look at that. Welcome back, everybody. Good to see you all here for some uh, wonderful city skylines. we got to complete a few things here, and then we'll get ready to build the main city. I just need to dump a ton of trees down, and I think we're about ready to go. The city looks pretty good. I am pretty proud of myself. I've been looking at other screenshots of, you know, many other talented creators. We're clearly nowhere close to anything else anybody else has made in this game, but man, oh, man, does it look good. And it feels good to make my own map. So once we've uh, completed on this map, and once I do it a lot more, we're going to be uh, doing this more and more, and I think even making bigger and better cities. It's going to be cool. What's up, Alex? Hi, Joe. Hi, everyone. Hello, chat. How are you all today? Welcome. Yeah, we're listening to some SimCity music while we play City Skylines. In my opinion, I think uh, City Skylines doesn't have as good a music that... Uh, City Skylines does. I think its music is much better. Edward with the $1. Thank you very much. Again, if you guys uh, click or tap that super chat button, your name will pop up here as well as if you become a member too. Get access to those wonderful emotes just like Sheila Larson did. Hi, Sheila. How are you? All right. Well, we're going to uh, basically finish up the map by placing down a bunch of trees. I don't think there's anything else I really wanted to do aside from just taking a, a little bit of time to place down a bunch of trees and then get started with the actual city build. We'll be... be uh, we'll be beginning here, and I think we'll be building it in sandbox-only mode 
just because it'll be fun to actually lay out a realistic city. And of course, we needed to have uh, a highway connection here. This actually kind of looks weird. Hmm, I don't think I laid that out correctly. That's really strange. I think these were actually laid out a little better before. Ah, well. Can't be picky about everything. The highway's a little off, but we can fix that later in city build mode. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to make the map available for all you guys. A lot of you have been asking if you can play on it. And sure, I'll upload it. Uh, as soon as we're done, that is. So probably uh, by later today or tomorrow it'll be up for you. Oh, we also have to put some cool trees down and stuff. Now, <clears throat> there's a lot more we could do to be detailed in this map. Like, for example, putting down uh, pillars like this. Like giant rocks and things like that. But uh, I'm not... I'm starting to get lazy. I'm getting impatient. I want to go on to making an actual big, big O city. So let's get started. So apparently we can put down beech trees. I wanted like pines and stuff, but I guess I didn't pick the uh, other map for that. Do, do, do. Lieutenant Commander Gordon becoming a member. Welcome aboard. Let's get some round of applause for a new member. Awesome. Congratulations. Patience is a virtue. Yeah, but also I don't want to have like eight. This is like day five. I think of like doing this of uh, doing uh, oh, of doing the map build so it's about time it's about time we get started okay let's go ahead and start placing down some trees and see what happens and uh, see how it all looks where should we start putting some trees down for the most part I want the map to not have a ton of trees I want there to be some open areas but we also have areas that I designated for logging and such, like over here. Let's start over in this corner. New subscriber shout out. Yay. Let's get some hearts in chat for Bob Ross. My inner Bob Ross is coming out right now. We'll so show some love for Bob Ross. It's extremely enjoyable to watch, for sure. Wow, putting down trees is very easy. Ooh, that looks good. All right. I think we're off to a good start. Do, 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 do. What did you miss? Oh, just the start of the stream. Oh, look, there's like a little lake there. Neat. Glory to Raptoria from Commander Gordon. Absolutely. Thanks for showing your love. This is off to a really good start. This is uh, this is already looking good. Go ahead and shrink it down and place just a few trees, maybe. Purdy. <clears throat> yeah, Raptoria Falls on the other side is where we're going to really add some beauty. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to put our sawmill over here where the trees are thick. And then we're going to put a hydroelectric dam over here. So this is going to be kind of like our black forest of Germany over here. And then I'm going to try to do... Ooh, what happened to the water? That wasn't like that yesterday. A little, little water got a little wild, I think. That's weird. I wasn't doing any of that yesterday. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. Uh, Edward, you can read the rules down below. And that'll answer that question. Uh, 
Where's Billy? I'm sure he's in chat somewhere. Hi, chat. Billy there Nelson he is. here, and you're lucky I'm here. There's Billy. Wonderful. Our points here? Uh, the points are always here, but the bot sometimes is a little slow. You gotta wait about like five minutes or so for the bot to come in. Alright, tree time. Wow, it's off to a really good start. Oh, is someone bringing pizza? Excellent. Someone brought pizza to the party. <clears throat> Kieran, thanks for seven. <clears throat> now, this music is so good. All right. Let's work on the top section up here. I'm impressed. This is looking better each time. The map's really starting to come to life now. Thank you very much for becoming a member. Welcome aboard. Yay! Is there snow on the mountain? Uh, I don't think snow can go on mountaintops in this game, unless you have mods. I think you can make snow-capped mountains if you... There could be a mod for, like, elevation, weather changes, or something like that. Not in vanilla, though. Kind of bittersweet to listen to the uh, SimCity uh, 2013 music and playing City Skylines at the same time. I wish both were really good games. All right, let's keep on doing. It's very peaceful now. You can look at look at the difference that it made to put down some trees. It's beautiful. Sasquatch appreciates my forestry skills. Good. Well, look, everyone, I'm Strict Toaster. <laughs> I'm good now, games. Oh, man. It's amazing how just a small change of, uh, like, trees or something like that can change the entirety of the, um, of, of the, of the map. Before it was looking so bland, and now it's, obviously, with trees looking a lot better. You look up to me? Well, that's good. I'm probably taller than you. Fernando, thank you for subscribing. Alright, so we're gonna get, uh, which way should we go? Should we go, let's go this way, closer to the waterfall now. Let's start throwing in some, uh, beautiful trees over here. There we go. So we're gonna build a hydroelectric dam over here too, so I think this is gonna good, look good. I've gotten good at this? I, I, I feel like I've gotten better, and I really want to learn from all the other people, uh, I, I think there's somebody named... Biffa plays or something who does like cool scenarios where he tries to solve traffic problems which is super neat because that's like aside from water the other cool thing worrying about flow is uh is traffic flow and it's like wow that'd be kind of cool to like have somebody um make a like a make, purposely make a bad city and then everyone else has to try to fix it and the cool thing about that is that there's like 40 different ways to fix a city you know there, there's many different things you can do that's a really cool idea N neat little community challenges, kind of kind of neat. There's a lot of great people out there doing some interesting ideas, and that's the cool thing about the community. Everybody shares ideas, and you know that's like the whole purpose of mods is like you got to share the mods too. That kind of goes really nicely. Um, how tall am I? Six feet. Six feet tall.
Wow, this is ri- Hold on, I gotta get myself around. This actually looks good. <clears throat> yeah, the, exactly. Uh, when you- The DLC for C uh, City Skylines called, uh, the Disastrous DLC, that one allows you to play scenarios. So, um... And anybody can make scenarios, too. So, like, if you- if somebody wants to purposely build a city that, like, has some really bad traffic issues, then you can go in there and fix it a million different ways. You can go in there and build, like, a bus uh, solution or tram system or, you know, how, however you feel like. All oh, these trees are dead. Okay, looking good so far. Yeah, the map is amazing. It turn it's turning out pretty good. The the worst thing I've done is the highway system. I just got a little lazy in it. But everybody knows why. I I certainly tried. Yesterday I wrestled with it for like two hours just trying to get the highways right, and after a while I was just like, yeah, we'll call it good. I mean I'm not I'm not looking to be like the best City Skylines YouTuber ever where I like make everything perfection. I just want to have some fun. Ray, thanks for subbing. Besides, I, I mostly buy games off of whether or not they're fun. More so than how how cool can I make this look. Oh, oh my road. What? Why is my road disappearing? <laughs> uh, totally unrelated favorite playable faction and company heroes. Uh, I don't know. Both have their their fun. I like the Stug, you know, for the Germans, but then again, using the American, uh, uh, I forget the tank, the the bulldozer, the crocodile. That's a lot of fun. Thanks for the support. Yeah, apparently we're loading Minecraft chunks all of a sudden. This is looking really good. I like how we're keeping uh, some of the trees near valleys and not just putting them anywhere. Anonymous, thanks for seven. Uh, right after I was playing City Skylines yesterday and I put new toll booths on all highways going in and out past my city and I'm earning so much more and I'm surprised traffic hasn't stopped yet. Well, I mean, technically, if your city's going to grow, they've got to pay the, the fees. But it's a good idea to get some extra cash without raising taxes. There were more ways in the game to get money. Can you get money from amusement parks? Oh yeah, that's right. Ooh, ooh, this song's getting good. Hold on. Making a map alone is just as fun as making a city, to be honest. So I'm just gonna go around the whole map, and then we're and then we're done. Music is super good. 
If you haven't already, too, by the way, make sure you click or tap that subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on any of the uh, fun that we're having here. Welcome to all the new subs and members today, too. Thank you, guys, everybody, for your support. Awesome. You've made lots of maps? I feel like I, um, I feel like I can make a set of maps now. You know what would be really fun is uh, if I do another stream one time where I just make a map and then you guys can all download it and then send me cool pictures of your, like, you can tweet me all the cool pictures of your, your cities and stuff and share it on Discord and then you guys can be like, hey, Raptor, I made a cool town in your map, you know. That'd be super cool. Because you can only really make one city, but a map you can make tons of cities on, so that's kind of neat. Getting closer. What is that uh, famous castle in Germany? Uh, that looks very fairy tale like it starts with an n it's like it's called like new 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 munchen new munchen castle something like that new there you go new 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 schwanstein or stein sam thanks for subbing yeah that's kind of the feeling i'm getting with this castle up here you know what i mean schloss new no oh, everybody knew exactly what it was you guys knew yeah it's like that castle You'd love to see me make Stockholm. You know what I'd like to do is make my own Stockholm. Like where I take all the cool elements of Stockholm, like Stockholm City Hall, the metro system, uh, the um, they have like the old Olympic Stadium and things there in the uh, um, the uh, Globen, and, and take uh, take that stuff and uh, make like my own Stockholm, like my own style. Okay, I think we're getting really. Close. This area is not supposed to have a lot of trees down here. There's supposed to be like some flat land, essentially. And I'll add some trees there. Ooh, the trees actually destroy the farmland. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. How do you get to the... Do they have to be a mountaineer? I'm going to build a road up there eventually. The only roads available to me now are highways. So when I get the chance, the pathway is going to be like this. You can kind of see where I left a path to build a road up here. And then we're going to basically circle up to the... There's a graveyard there. And then somehow I'll figure out a way to get up to... There. Boom. Should work. Also, there, uh, there's probably some mods I can get to that get an actual functioning castle, so we could probably delete the old castle and put up, like, uh, uh, the, the famous one in Poland. I forget the name of that one, but I, that'd be cool to put up there. There's all sorts of, like, a hundred famous castles I could put up there. Ooh, you know what'd be really cool is, like, a Japanese castle up there. It'd be totally out of place, but it'd be cool. Oh, this is nice. You know what's really nice too, and um, if you if you ever look at some people's uh, made maps, the most beautiful thing in city skylines is when people make like a farm field like this. Well, the tree lines will be much thinner, but you know, like you can see where they've separated their farm fields with very thin lines of trees like that, and then in between, the soil will look a different color because there's different. Um, you know, different crops. So, like, one will be wheat, one will be sunflower. So it'll it'll look all different. It's just beautiful. So I could definitely try to do something like that. Also, City Skylines needs this tree tool just in the regular mode. I'm favoriting the elder tree a little bit too much, but it's fine. There we go. Oh, that looks great. This is really looking nice. Mm. 
Mount Olympus. Yes, this is where I watch over chat and make sure everyone's behaving. I just watch out from here. I'm just like, nobody better be spamming pizza emotes. We're gonna have some trouble in chat if everybody starts spamming pizza emotes. They better not do that. No pizza emotes. This is an NPZ, no pizza zone. There's gonna be a lot of trouble in chat. But our chat's well behaved. Nobody, nobody would spam pizza emotes. Nobody's gonna do that. Ah, ah, Thomas. Thomas. We just said no pizza emote. Ah. Chat. Uh oh. You guys are out of control. All right, I think for the waterfront we'll leave that alone. Maybe I'll put some trees here. Nothing too crazy. All right, now it's time to start working on this monster. Jeez. Ah. Too many pizza emotes. Chat, I trusted you. I thought we agreed. Why is the soil black? Uh, there's iron ore underneath there, or coal, or whatever. It just, it's just called generic ore in the game. But it changes the uh, color of the ground. Like, for example, over here there's oil. We'll have to mine it out later. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is gorgeous. We, you know what we have to put over here is like a, uh, a tanker, an oil tanker, something that ran aground, or a, uh, a lighthouse, too. Still lots we can do on the city. Or, I mean, the uh, at least the map. Jackson, thanks for seven. This gives me a lot of respect for the people who make, like, dioramas for... Uh, uh, for trains and things. Music volume is high? You're damn right. Austin, thanks for subbing me. Awesome. Austin is awesome. Yeah, I'll upload this map for you guys for sure. And then you guys can uh, give it a shot, see what you can do. Train? Train's a new era right now? Cool. I don't think I've played that one. Do you guys... Is anybody here playing City Skylines while they're watching me play too? I've, I've totally done that before where I've like uh, gone and watched somebody else play a game while I'm also playing it. Usually live. And usually what happens is 15 minutes in I'm just like, nah, I'm just gonna watch them play. <laughs> Minecraft. That's a good building game. I, uh, I've taken a break of Minecraft. I played like 20 times in a row. Ooh, a 
little water escaped over there. Oh, I see. It's kind of barely scraping across the top. New subscriber shout out. Anonymous, thank you for subbing. There, that should help that to dry up a little bit. Uh, you got into Foundation because of me? That's good. That's a very fun game. Ba -ba -ba. No, you're playing Stranded Deep while you're watching? Excellent. How do you spend your dino dollars? Uh, just check down below. Also, the point bot is here now, guys. So if you want an exclamation point points to see how many points you've earned. Keep in mind, the longer you watch the stream, the more points you earn. The more active in chat you are, the more points that you earn. And also, if you uh, go on some heists and other things. Just watch chat, follow along. And they'll lead you to uh, some more points. Heists and things like that are a great way to get some more points. All right, now we got to work on Raptoria Falls, but we'll do that after we finish the way around the river. Subscriber shout out. I'll have to like see if I can redesign a a city. Like I'll have to go on Google Maps and like just randomly pick like some city in like the Netherlands or Denmark or. Sweden or something, or wherever, and then just try to recreate like a small city of like a thousand people and try to be u uber detailed as much as I can. I'm loving the music. Oh yeah, if you're wondering about the points, just check down below in the description. All you gotta do is read down there for details. It can explain things way better than I can. Check that description, read that description, open that description. Oh, this is looking really nice. I like how the mountains are kind of being bare up there. Maybe it'll be too cold for trees or something like that, or too windy or something like that. Paul! Oh. Thanks for subbing. Like we gotta do something a little bit more over by the falls. We'll figure it out. How many dino dollars do I have? In infinite, because I can play all the sound effects I want. That's right. I'm the boss, so I get all the money. Jameson, sick pick channel. Thanks for seven. I love this music. The trouble with balancing this music, by the way, everyone will be like, it's too loud! That's called the crescendo, kids. Like, that's when the music gets very loud. <laughs> it's very loud. Really making good progress now. Man, that, that forest over there is thick. Make that one pretty thick too, and there we go.
Ooh, that's a little too much. There we go, that's better. I think we got it. I think we are good. Mr. Spooks, you like the music? Good. Time to start laying down the city? I think you're right. I think we're pretty much there. I do want to do a little bit of modification of the elevation of the city. And that's about it. I'm going to just add a few more trees and make some rolling hills just to give it a little variety. And then we're ready to start, I think. Because I'm not really happy with these rolling hills here. They're not... Uh, They're a little too round, I think. But we can also, in the editor, do a lot of that. I can take away from a lot of the mountains and do all sorts of different stuff. Okay, so now we gotta put down some other stuff. Let's put down an old lighthouse. We can build a real one out there, maybe. Abandoned stone farmhouse, cool. Ba, 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 ba. Have to leave that as like a monument or something. Okay, where was the boat I wanted? There it is. Good? Cool. You will man the lighthouse? Yeah, we're gonna need a lighthouse out here. And this is possibly where we're going to build an airport in the future. So we have an area for an international airport. Which might be nice. Maybe we won't make an international airport, but it is a capital city. But not all capital cities have an airport inside. They might have it, like, in a sit one city over and then have, like, a train network or something that connects inside, but... Boys, I think we are done. Anything else we should add? Anybody want to make any final suggestions? Anything we could put in here a little bit? Maybe some random trees just to make things look nice for now? Any other ideas? Shoreline bunkers. I don't know if we'll even see those. Wow, the trees were the easiest part. And they made the biggest difference, too. A volcano? <laughs> I really want to add more of these rocks, but that's just going to add five more episodes on all the things we can do. All 
Alright, so we put down oil, farmland, ore. We got a forest down. No joke. A lot of oil? Well, I don't think we're gonna. Uh, for my city, it's gonna have a little bit of everything, but nothing, nothing super crazy. Tourism building on a mountain? Maybe. Anonymous, thanks for subscribing. So this indent here is supposed to be for our uh, our water pumps. So that kind of got over overrun a little bit, so we'll have to raise that up. Just so that'll work. Do, do, do. Yeah, we could make a military base, but I want to go for... Oh, uh, fun style that uh, I've been seeing in these thumbnails we've been putting up. It's just beautiful. all that water goes away. We gotta have defense around Raptoria? The enemy would never even get near the capital. Why would we worry about something that's never going to happen? Oh, this music is so good! Castle? Yeah. We have somewhat of a castle going on. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, good. The water's finally... Yep, it's finally going that way. Took a while, but it finally... Finally worked. Alright, I just need to see if this area is going to chill out a little bit. It's probably going to end up destroying a little bit of the trees for a while. They should grow back though, right? When this ground goes back to water. I mean, uh, grass. One heck of a beach. be kind of cool there's gonna be a hydroelectric dam here and then another utilities area for fresh water so this is gonna be really nice the water couldn't be more fresh look at that coming out from that beautiful mountaintop 
It's like, you know, you ever see those bottle, bottled water commercials where it's like, there's literally a guy in a mountain just like filling up a bottle. <laughs> it's like, here at Fake, Fake Water Incorporated, we start with the most purest of water. It's two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. Uh, okay, that, that's our secret recipe, going back 700 billion years. It's like, okay, <laughs> okay, just like grandma used to make. Yeah, spring water, exactly. Like, these are the commercials where it's like, you know, they start with these commercials like that. I can't wait for another City Skylines. Could you imagine how beautiful the next game is going to look? This game is from 20, like, what, 15 or 14? On parallel. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. All right, we're just waiting for this area to dry up a little bit and behave. Most bottled water is filtered tap water. Yeah, it's all just a scam. Here at Scam Water, we start with the... No, you don't. No, you don't. That, that's pumped in from the street. You dump a bunch of uh, materials in there to filter it out and purify it. Well, you know, just, now they call it purified water in most cases, but... Alright, so we're just going to wait on this water to chill out, and then we are ready to start our city. Actually, I should add a few more trees here. It kind of seems lonely. Papa. There we go, that's a little better. So our, we're going to start with our old town down here. I'm going to try to combine a few different styles. So it might look a little... When I build my city, it'll look a little separated on purpose. Like there'll be like a... You know, maybe like a older downtown area here. And then like a farming area right next to it. It's probably going to look weird. I haven't really done this before, but... The more I do this, the more skilled I'll become. Certainly uh, pretty good at making beautiful little waterfalls. That's pretty easy to do. Uh, but I guess the real big key is to build cities enough to where you know what the land should look like ahead of time. Oh, it looks like this water is coming back a little bit. Hurry up, water. Let's speed up time and see if it chills out a little bit. I believe water that's been disconnected will eventually evaporate. Is this water level going down? I might need to... Uh, raise the land underneath it. Ba, 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 ba. Some city farming sim? Yeah, I mean, we're going to build a huge area over here. This is supposed to be... You know, this is going to be a kind of our Dutch farming area. And then there's going to be, like, you know, generic European canal city here. We'll see. We'll figure it out. It's going to take practice, but that's why we're doing it on the This music is no joke. Super serious. Is this water gonna leave? Hmm. Actually, can I do a thing where I make a negative water source? Isn't there a way to make a negative water source? Uh, dikes. Yeah, I I have some down here. These are supposed to be our our dikes, I suppose. Wait a minute. We got overflow again. Hmm. Snow on mountains? That's uh, probably a part of a mod. I feel this water's coming down now, finally. Looks like it could be. As soon as we, as soon as the water's good, we're done. Yeah, I think there's a way to put down a water source that will pull water into it and evaporate it, but 
Uh, I don't want to do that without testing. The See, the pond seems to be coming down. It looks like it's returning to normal. It'll just take a little while. I think in this game, all, all sources of water will evaporate unless they're connected to a continuous source. So like, if you try to build a... Like a river or something. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow, that's a really fast river. That's coming down quick. That's probably our fastest uh, body of water right there. Beautiful. Evaporating. Yeah, I think it is. It used to be up here. The water used to be right up there. Alright, so we're just going to have to wait a couple millennia for it to come down and then we're good. Water's f <laughs> yeah, because I have the speed up. Well, yeah, but, I mean, even if you slow the speed down to normal speed, the water's still very, very fast. I mean, you can, like, see how fast this water's flowing compared to, like, over here? Like, this is pretty fast, too, but a little slower. That's all. Okay, where are we at? All right, so we're waiting for the water to just completely evaporate here. It looks like it's actually going. It's getting there. Uh, Mohod, thank you for subbing. Welcome aboard. Thank you, everybody, for clicking and tapping that subscribe button. That is awesome. Thank you. All right, so while we wait for that to evaporate, uh, I suppose we'll go put some rocks down. mess around with the water though the more uh, that it'll flood and stuff because if I make any changes to it it's quite sensitive to uh, being backed up and stuff like that we gotta be kind of careful oh yeah that water is coming down perfect I love that rock there like that too bad those trees don't grow oh wait a minute they're coming back I can see leaves We'll see. Bum, bum, bum. Stack the rocks? That would kind of look weird, wouldn't it? So this will eventually be like... I don't know if I want to have a nuclear plant here, but we'll see. It would be nice to have... I wish this game, though, had uh, what SimCity had, where you could buy power from neighbors. It would be nice that uh, there would be some options like that. Even if you couldn't see the city, it'd be always cool to... You know, supplement some power, like if you just needed an extra, I don't know, 200 megawatts instead of building a whole new power facility or something, it'd be nice to just 
buy from the neighbors. A yacht club? Ooh, good ideas. Well, we certainly do have a lot of uh, water that uh, people could sail out from. We could build like a little boat dock here and then people could make their way down to the river. Uh, to the ocean, possibly. Certainly going to be a very crowded area here. I made it very narrow. Maybe a little too narrow. But we can always change that in city build mode. All right, once the water's evaporated, we're done. And we're going to go build a city. I just want that water to come up a little bit more. Actually, let's laser, let's laser sight it, and then we're good. Let's build a city. Yeah, you can build old forts and all sorts of stuff. In fact, one of the coolest things you can do is build, like, a trench, you know, by lowering the water into, like, a star shape and make it look like a moat and then make some walls around that. All right, where are we going? Over here. Wow, my own map. So if anything goes wrong, I do have to blame myself because I made the whole map, too. Yahora, thank you for seven. Yeah, this is where future water pumps will be. I don't know how realistic it'll look, but I should probably get some other mod tools to create, like, concrete holding tanks and things like that. You know, like reservoirs, but... In time, I will learn the mods. First, I'm going to learn to make a map. All good things with time. Welcome to all the new subscribers today. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Just finishing things up here. We're almost done. And then we'll start building a city. Beachfront castle. Cool. I like the idea. You love the videos? Me too. enough, I think. Okay. So how are we looking now? Oh, good. Looks like everything's... So if this evaporates, that's totally fine. We're going to come back and use this as a, uh, a reservoir of some, some sort. We'll figure out how to get it to work later. Yeah, we're not doing like a naval base or submarine or a military base or anything. Because that's going to take up a lot of space. I think there's even mods where you can use the entire map if you want to. But it is nice to be able to build a town here. And then, like, from somebody's house, you can literally look around and see all these mountains. Like, look, you can see the waterfalls from here. This is gorgeous. All right, wait a minute. We got flooding alerts now. Are you kidding me? big beach here. That's kind of cool. having a hard time forcing the water to go down there. It'll be interesting because when we put this here, this is going to pull in a lot of water. 
So I think this will lower the level there anyway, so it'll be okay. So if we have a little overflow, that's all right. Okay, there we go. Oh, it looks cool. Uh, yeah, the, wa the water being a little high is okay here because it'll go down when I start to build a uh, water process. When we build our pumps here, it's going to pull water from both sides and it's going to lower it down, so that'll be okay. All right, and if there's a giant flood, it'll look cool because it's going to go right straight into our canal system. And it's going to be funny. It's all right, if we fail, it's okay. It'll be for the memes. Okay, let's toss down a few more trees and call it good and start playing on this thing. I think we're done. I think we're good to go. Wow, this looks amazing. Yeah, we've put down all sorts of resources. We've got oil and farms and other things. This is awesome. Beautiful. Okay, so I think we're done. Should we start building our main city now? Should we should we begin the build? Oh, look at this. 82,000 out of uh, 250,000 trees used. We've certainly lot of, left a lot of open space. That's good. Wow. You were obsessed with SimCity growing up? Yeah, me too. It's a great game. Well, I think from assigning, you know, adding like liberal trees here and there and throwing down just random stuff at random, I think we're good. I want to start building this city, shall we? Shall we begin? Although I feel like I could place trees all day. What country is Raptorian? Uh, Raptoria. On the corner of uh, Raptoria and Raptoria. Every roads are named the same in Raptoria. It's very easy to get around. Very easy. Alright, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and build. Let's go ahead and save this map. I will upload it to the... Uh... Oh wait, we need to take a screenshot of it. I'll upload it to the uh, workshop so you all can play with it. Snapshot tool, start tile. Well, that's going to be right there. Snapshot tool. Uh, there we 
go. Smile chat. We're taking pics. Which one looks the best? This one? Oh my goodness, we have a new member. Thank you very much for clicking the tab of that join button. Welcome aboard. I think this looks best. Can we get some smiles in chat? We, we need everyone to smile. You'll end up deleting them trees? Well, mostly, yeah. That's why I left most of the space blank, because that's where the city's going to go. All right, let's smile. All right, chat. Three, two, one, cheese. I, th I think that's the best one. Gokhan, thank you for subbing. Ooh. Yeah, that's probably the best one there. Alright, we are done. Looks good. Hopefully it's done. Alright, let's go back. Oh wait, what is Tessa going to do? All on save work will be lost. No. Alright, let's see what this city is like. Thanks for seven. Yay. That's beautiful. Wow. We finally get to begin. <coughs> now, I might need to turn on some more mods or something. I think I have a few of them off, but... I guess we can always start with a basic road layout system first. Now, I don't have all the... Uh, all the road things that everybody else has been using, but I'm every time I see somebody on Twitter or something post something, I get so inspired. These just beautiful, like picturesque overpasses. Someone will spend 17 hours making one overpass, and it's like, wow, that's crazy. Now, is there should there be a way I should have opened this with uh, unlimited money? That's what I should have did. All right, well, let's see how it works first. Let's watch the traffic. I'll also have to turn on the mod that lets me go outside the build area. New subscriber shout out. Theus, thanks for subbing. Oh, well, there she is, boys. She works. Cars are not careening off the road and exploding, so that's good. That is a tight drop there. Oof. That's better. I want to make my roads darker, too. I, I really like when there's like a, almost a pitch black road. With uh, with uh, lines and stuff like that. All right, let's go back and turn on a few mods now. So she works. We got it. Raptor's Road to Nowhere. Yeah, we'll be working on it. She, she needs to be worked on. Okay, time for uh, mods. How do we do that again? Is it under Content Manager? Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? So these are maps. Mods are here. Uh, let's see. 25 spaces. Unlock full map. On. Uh, that one I think I want on. Map editor tools in-game. Sounds like a good idea. Active desert when there's pollution. Oh, ploppable asphalt using road show. Oh, right, so you can like spray paint the ground asphalt or something if you want to. Pause the game until you have basics built. That's a good point. We'll also, figure out what we're going to do for power, too. I think we'll start with wind power. Oh, no, solar. Solar will look good just to get, just to get it started. Precision engineering. Probable trees. Ooh, 
unlimited oil and I oh that's cool Cody Morris thank you very much for clicking and tapping that join button welcome aboard man thank you very much for the support unlimited soil oh yes perfect progression milestones yeah this is just completely a sandbox city so oh that music oh so touching. Welcome aboard there, uh, Cody. Enjoy your new emotes, Mad. All right. Glory to Raptoria from Ryan. Absolutely. Now's a good time to start dropping those super chats because the city is for sale. One of my uh, scammy sellout ways in order to uh, <laughs> get you guys to participate. No. We've done it every time. Anytime somebody drops a super chat when we build in City Skyline specifically, uh, it's really nice for you guys to support, so that's when I start naming roads and train stations and airports after people for their super support. People don't always do it, but when they do, it means a lot. Do you get a road? Or whatever. Yeah, the music's amazing. Imagine this. This is you trying to make a... This is uh, trying to get to the oven. It's been 12 minutes... The pizza rolls have been in for 12 minutes, and they're about to burn. And you're running through the backyards like Ferris Bueller style. Just in time. Looks like Grandma took them out. Oh, Kevin, I took out your pizza rolls. They were getting a little well done. Wow, this map's taking a while to load. This is a good sign. Imagine when I start making, like, Uthrisburg. Call the hospital. Cardiac ward. Oh, nice. Absolutely, yeah. We'll need to build a hospital. I'll have to get custom stuff. I won't... I'll have to make sure we build everything custom. That's going to be major. And that means, like, you know, I, I want to do a hydroelectric dam. I think it'd be better if I... I wonder how... If I start out and build on the outskirts of town, that might be better. Like, we could start here, but now that we've got everything unlocked... We could start with a hydroelectric dam over here, like we wanted. Uh, over here. Wow. Eric, thanks for the support. For pizza and country charge. Yes. Pizza is a, is a good thing. Alright. So we can look for some good mods. Now, if you're pro or anything like that and you want to suggest mods for me to use, hop on the Discord and drop me a link. You can just at me and say, hey, here's a mod for hydroelectric dams or canals or something like that. It's not perfect. City's not perfect. Far from it. But... I think we did a really good job, especially with all this nightmare. Uh, especially with all that nightmarish landscape going on over there. Alright, well at least we've got a highway. We've got some beautiful farming areas. This is a national monument over here. This is uh, Eric Skinner's farm. You can see he uh, hasn't been in town for a while. And of course our castle up here, yeah. Raptoria Castle. Wow, look at that. Damn crazy all right <clears throat> well I think what we should do is start out very small and uh, in a quiet neighborhood and I think we could probably build I either want to do hydroelectric dam which means I'll have to like go and find an actual dam <clears throat> or do uh, like a small neighborhood over here or something like that well if I put down a dam I just want it to be a visual thing I, w I want there to be a dam that doesn't actually block up the water. I hope there's one that can cross and doesn't cause any problems to the w landscape. Uh-oh. I can see this water getting a little, little agitated. <coughs> Alright, let's see. Where do we begin? Well, I guess we could start laying out some... No, I guess we do need to connect to the highway. So no matter where we build... Oh, really? Yeah, we'll, we'll fix the highway later. Um, What should I do? There's so many opportunities now. I don't know where to start, boys. I mean, we could start by building stuff all around the canal and... Oof, what the heck? Okay. Oh, apparently, uh, I guess uh, Moses was here. Is 
let my people subscribe. Oh, sweet, guys. We'll be out of here in no time. There we go. That's uh, interesting. All right. Yeah, parting the Raptorian canals for sure. All right, let's start by building a quiet little neighborhood. I think I want to build a beautiful suburb here, but that's going to take a little bit of practice. And uh, <clears throat> let me pull up some images here of what I've been uh, kind of like taking inspiration from. There's somebody, an, an, an incredible creator named uh, uh, Ron Fu Fu Futa, who is just doing some incredible stuff like this. Now, I'm not going to be anywhere near this, but like that just looks absolutely gorgeous. And the nicest thing about maps like that is that he hasn't filled up the whole map. There's a lot of empty blank space, which looks gorgeous. Absolutely just astounding. Areas of very thick trees, and then areas of blank farm field, and then, uh, like, urban areas, all within, like, 30... If you were to run through that area, it would take you, like, 30 seconds. Just beautiful. So that's where I'm going to try to take inspiration from a little bit. Beautiful stuff there. Let's try to do something like that, but let's start over, uh, over Meow. <clears throat> let's try to start building a little quiet neighborhood over here. Some, something like this. Right by the river. Or the lake. And we also have unlimited money, so it doesn't matter. Oh, that's right. We have all these, uh, Extra road options, too. Two-lane alleyways? Awesome. I hope my series gets uh, people like Uthras, too, to be uh, re-inspired to start up their own city skylines again. Their own little map. Oh, that looks so nice. All right, well, let's uh, figure this out. So this area is probably not going to be connected directly to the highway. But we should build, like, a little roundabout to get things started. That can lead into the neighborhood somewhere. So let's start here. Where's that roundabout making tool? There it is. Uh, let's see, two-lane road. Yeah. I forget how to use this tool. I'll have to remember again. Hover mouse over intersection. Oh yeah, you make an intersection first. Yay, now we're a mega city. Sweet. Actually, I think I went six on these. Well, that's ten. Okay. My mistake. There we go. Alright, then, uh, roundabout builder. Uh. I forget how you do this. Roundabout builder. Ah, oh, there it goes. Oof. That kind of oofed. I also think there's some really good ways to, uh, <clears throat> in this game, I think you can actually down, like, download some roundabouts. I'm going to have to do a stream just where we pick out stuff that we're going to build with when we get a little bit more advanced. Um, I might end up even deleting this city, but I need to start learning to do things custom, you know? New subscriber shout -out. Gabriel, thanks for seven. And welcome to all the new members today. The uh, amount of support from you guys is absolutely astounding. So thank you, everybody. Darius, thanks for seven. I kind of want to go for a more European style. Two-lane plain street. How does that look? Hmm, that kind of looks nice. I wish it was painted, though. Without any curbs. Is there a way to get a painted road with no curbs? 
because this road has curbs. Bum, bum, bum. Tiny roads, yeah. Cer certainly going to make the city look a lot bigger with smaller roads. Let's actually try this. Does, how does this look? If I... Oh, I can't do it, huh? Okay. Uh, American downtown? I'm going to go for more of like a German, Swedish, Swiss, you know, taking taking my favorites from most picturesque kind of stuff. And then taking inspiration from Ron's photos and a few other people and just trying to do my own thing, but, you know, referencing other people's works and just being like, oh, that looks cool, and then trying to do my own. I got an idea. Well, there kind of is, is a hill here. A bit of American? Yeah, we'll put a McDonald's down. roundabout builder. How do I get rid of this menu? There we go. Alright, time to raise the road a little bit. Oh, look at this, like, super cool, precise tool. Wow. Creators have everything. Look, you can even make a star if you want. Right, hopefully that keeps the water out. I can't seem to pick a different brush. Alright. So one thing I planned to do is we were going to build our flood wall this way. So we're going to put this on top of that. That'll look cool. We'll do that later. Okay. a nice little neighborhood over here. I think I have a lot more to, to do before we really truly get started. I'll have to download some uh, European looking homes so things look a little more accurate, that type of thing. Well, for the downtown, I think this area might be a little bit more, more Dutch, maybe. We'll use like the I don't know. I mean, we're, we're going to have some high-rises, but they're not going to be like, you know, 70 stories. Maybe 8 to 10 in certain spots. We'll try, we'll try to do a little bit of everything. Well, that roundabout is not looking nice, but we'll fix it. Well, the initial layout looks good. I like this. Yeah, something like that. Bum, 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 bum. Am I interested in bunker ruins? Well, probably not at this point. What is that surface? Lip? Oh, I guess we can pause this now. Oh, nice, we can, we can paint ore and stuff back onto the city. Cool. Relax, game, relax. Wants me to do a million things at once. But 
But pulling from these screenshots, it looks like there's a lot of homes that are close together with trees in between, and it looks like they're really close together. With blank areas being dedicated for farming. Now there's a lot of buildings that are very, very close together, so... And that, that'll probably rec be replicated here. Why pause? Because when the homes get built, I don't have a power plant or anything yet. We'll work on power and stuff later. Right now I'm just trying to pretend to be Strict Toaster or Uthris or uh, $2.20 or... Uh, I'm to try to think some more. Silverrod, so Uthri Uthris, Strict Toaster, $2.20. Uh, Biffa plays... Anybody that's not me. You subscribe and name didn't come up on screen? Uh, check the description. The text down at the bottom in capitals that says read all of this might have something important for you. What I could do is put a lot of thick forest between here. Yeah, we could thicken up this forest a bit and then have it kind of go over to this area a little bit. Alright, let's try a uh, windmill just to get things... Wow, the wind here is really strong. Wow, this whole map is perfect for... How much would we get up here? Yeah, 8 megawatts, wow. The whole map is crazy for power, for wind power. That's great. Dutch breathing intensifies. Awesome, good for you guys. All right, where's our neighborhood over here? Okay. We'll start with some basics to see if we can sustain a city. So another thing I need to do is start down downloading uh, buildings too. So that way we can have some different styles. But let's see how things function here to start with. Well, actually, nobody can move in because nothing's connected to the highway yet. So let's work on some basic layouts then. Where should we connect? I feel like I don't want to di directly connect to the highway from there, I want it to come in from the city. Wait, is that two lane? Uh oh. That doesn't make sense. Let's build. Oh, there's more options. Oh, those are roundabouts. Uh, highway ramp. National Road? A two-lane, two-way road suitable for low traffic between areas. Ooh. Davey, thanks for subbing. Uh, British breathing intensifies. UK leads uh, in wind power generation. Well, maybe so. But the Dutch are more famous for windmills. British are more famous for uh, a floating island that doesn't sink, I think. Yeah, I think this is what I was looking for. Oh, there we go. Well, I'll put the map on the workshop. This is gonna be cool. See what everyone else comes up with. It's going to be really neat. Okay. So this is just temporary here just to get cars in. But let's try that national road. That seems kind of cool. New subscriber shout out. 
Anonymous, thanks for subbing. Okay, so now what I need to do is we should have a road that goes on and off. This isn't permanent for now. I have no idea what I'm doing here. <laughs> Let's see. Uh... Well, wait a minute. That, that'll be fine. That'll take cars from both ways. Okay, there we go. My interstate loop will cause crashes. Perfect. This is just temporary to see if it works. That is horrible. I'm gonna, I'm, I think what I'm going to do uh, here is I am going to make like an avenue or something that continues up on this side to go to a... We're going to build a higher city there. But yeah, Spaghetti Junction is kind of meant to be a, an eyesore for now. Till we actually fix it. what I was doing. We'll just have Biffa come in and fix it. It'll be fine. That's part of my scam. I made the map so I'll have Biffa fix the roads, then we'll have Silverot decorate, and Uthris can do all the, like, the decoration placing and stuff. And then, you know, we'll get $2.20 to make, like, a giant mall, and then we'll call it a day. <laughs> oh, man. That'd be cool. I would love to see a bunch of YouTubers work on an awesome project like that. Not me. I just like to watch them in their natural habitat. Oh, here we go. Here come some houses now. All right, let's get power and water connected for now. And again, this is just temporary. I'm just trying to get the feel of things. Montage build? Oh, well. I mean, I, I'm not exactly certain what I'm going to do yet. I'm trying to get a feel for my landscape on how I'm going to have things get started. Alright, now we got to do some waste disposal. Yes, yeah, Smarty Pants, we see you trying to passively, aggressively advertise your channel repeatedly in chat. We see you. I want to read that description, though. Well, at least the water flow is going the right way. What? It's going up river. What the hell? I guess the water's still settling in. What I should have done is put a little water source there just to push things down south. Which I think I can do, right? Yeah, we can put a little water tool there later. Not that big of a deal. And then a sewer pipe.
All right, so I can tell we're going to have to add a lot of uh, trees and things. Although I wish I would have gotten the landscape with more pines. But the elder tree looks okay. Uh, what's the game playing? This is a 747. Alright, so definitely going to need some new modded houses for when we officially start building things. The map looks really good though. Oh, here comes the airplanes. Yay! I wonder if we can see some ships out here too. Seems I still have to unlock things like the Eiffel Tower. Should be a mod to unlock all that stuff. Yep, we have shipping lanes. Okay. So yeah, now we'll have to work on retail and stuff like that. But I'll have to. Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to worry about the game's RCI or anything. I want to build it all myself. So I'll have to start working with ploppable buildings. So. After uh, this stream, I'll go and grab some more stuff from the workshop so we can do that. And by the way, so you guys don't miss out on anything, make sure you do click or tap that uh, subscribe button as well so that way you don't miss out on any of the uh, any of the fun. Because I have a feeling this is going to be a ton of fun. Let's follow one of these cars now. How do we follow this guy? Is there a way to go into first person? I guess we'll just... Let's, let's take a look on this mountain road and see how it goes. Subscriber shout out. Oh, come on now. Alright, let's go up the mountain road. This should be pretty cool. Is there a way to go into... Oh, there we go. Sweet, let's follow this guy a little bit. See how it looks. See how everything turned out. It's not perfect. Far from it, but... It certainly helps my problem-solving skills for the future. Peter, thank you for seven. needs to get over in the other lane. That's crazy. Oh, look at all the traffic. Subscriber shout out. Anonymous, thanks for seven. Everybody is just right on top of each other traffic wise. No what no none of these trucks have any chill. This guy's hauling oil. He's tailgating that giant uh dump truck. <laughs> is there traffic problems yet? Not yet. Am I planning to plant planning to play Anno 1800? Are you planning to read the description down below where it says to read all the information down below in the description where it displays our schedule for every video every day? Oof. This, yeah, oof. Oof. <laughs> every truck would roll over. Oh, that's horrible. But luckily that's within our buildable area so we can make changes to that. Parts of that is like I-287 in northern New Jersey. Yeah, that's Oof Corner right there. That takes at least 70 lives a day. Yeah. Bank the corners? Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if you can do that in this game. There might be a mod to bank corners. I'm not sure. But also, a lot of that was just me being lazy and wanting to actually get to the city build mode. But this is our first tour around, so let's, let's take a little look here. So I just gotta take care, take out some trash in, in the uh, chat here. There we go. Perfect. New subscriber shout out. The absolute pinnacle of narcissism where they don't get it. 
Oh me, thanks for subbing. Check out my channel. My channel's name is Check Out My Channel. Sub to my channel. I'm gonna make some content. <laughs> no. PewDiePie didn't get where he is today by making videos. Come on. God, this camera system sucks. Like, if you go to the edge of the map at all, it freaks out and, like, unlocks the camera of the vehicle. There we go. Wow, look at that truck leaning. Alright, so let's take a little tour around our highway system and then, uh... We'll figure out what we're going to do with the with the city. It'll look a lot better when things are filled in, for sure. You know what would be really neat to have next to the highway? Would be an elevated train on the side of this, too. Uh, trees along the highway? Yeah, but this is where we're going to be building a city. So it would look nice for now to have trees, but eventually they're going to be bulldozed. I think we're going to replace these suspension bridges with another type of suspension bridge, so I'll have to look in the workshop. Maybe not suspension, but maybe a, a different type of highway bridge. Uh, Raptor, you need to put the description in braille so deaf people can read it? Wow. Brutal. Well, I can only lead a horse to the description, but I can't make him read. So definitely need to come back in here with the move-it tool and level out the highway a bit more. Did I build the map myself? I did, yep. We spent maybe five or six uh, episodes making it. Now we're just kind of taking a little highway tour. It looks really nice. Joe Quinn, thank you for subbing. Appreciate it. Anonymous, thank you for subscribing too. Yeah, the map looks pretty good. Oh yes, he's taking the exit. Good. Yeah, I'll put the map on the workshop later. Olympus, thank you for subbing. On Levi, too. Welcome to the new members as well. People clicking and tapping the uh, join button. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, now we're going to have to go back up into the mountains. I can see this being a very, very long uh, series where we work on areas of the highway and naming things. This is just very skeleton bare bones. Certainly gonna have. I want a different highway here for sure. Oh my, I'm doing great. Wow, that waterfall though. Look at that. The fact that you can see that waterfall is amazing. And I'm probably not gonna build anything over here that would block the view from the waterfall. So so long as you're driving up the mountain, you get that beautiful view of the waterfall. All right, this is where the road really gets hellish. It was so difficult to flatten this out. I'll have to get some more tools. You know what would be really cool? You know what I should get is uh, <clears throat> highways that are sunken, where you know have, you have the retaining walls on either side, and just kind of flatten it out a little bit. Because one of the greatest things to do would just to be, you know, instead of flattening the land, is just to flatten the land where the highway is. Oh boy, this guy's got to be in, like, first gear. Just boring it. Wow, look at that. We're getting passed by a log hauler. Those things aren't even highway legal. That man is doing like 70. So the highway is certainly not perfect. This is gross, but you can see all the potential that we have to build down there. Yeah, the waterfall is astounding. Super cool. Man, look at those bumps. It's crazy. Oop. Wow, and that other truck just rear-ended that car. Awesome. Uh, Falls View Highway. Ooh. You guys have some good ideas. I believe this pass over here was the easier one to make. It should be pretty much flat here on through. So this actually looks pretty decent. 
and I took a little bit more time to put the highway next to each other. What I will need to do is put a uh, maybe a concrete barrier down the center of the highway. Another thing I like that YouTubers do too, I'm going to have to subscribe to some more uh, and watch more City Skylines videos, is I really like when certain YouTubers will make like, um, they'll make a highway and then they'll block off like two lanes or something like that. And then they'll like put cones and barriers and things on the side of the on the side of the road uh, to make it look like there's construction. So sometimes they'll build like a they'll build like a an off ramp or something like that and not con complete it and make it look as if there's like a, a highway or something that's being built there. So that that's that really adds a lot of flavor to the map too. When you see the waterfall, you see the Jurassic Park theme. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Copyright. Okay, well, let's get started on our city. Looks like, well, it's all gone to hell. There's nothing but crime. <laughs> what? What, one person moved in and robbed everybody? What ha What happened? One One criminal in town? Or is everybody a criminal? What the f- Oh, boy. Hi there, Haptic Rush. How are you? Uh, Biffa plays indie games as an excellent Skylines player. Oh, we, uh, yeah, I was mentioning him earlier. I like the whole road aspect of fixing road. That's a, that's really therapeutic. That's one series I think I want to start making is just being like, you know, I don't know. I don't. I haven't watched. I've see. I see the videos. I haven't watched any of them. But I'm just like, oh, that's such a fun idea. Taking a road that is like a city that is purposely dis like ruined and then trying to fix the highway system. That seems to be the most fun. To be honest, is. To be completely honest in City Skylines, build, I'm not very good at building like a city or making it... Well, I can make a city look nice, but my thing is the, the roads and water. So like when we build these beautiful waterfalls like this, that is crazy. I fix roads? Well, I could certainly start a series on it. I'd love to do that. Well, that's not necessarily fixing roads as it is more fixing cities, you know? Like, there's a city with a population of 250,000, and, you know, there's, like, only one train that goes through the city. What do you want to do? Okay, <clears throat> so what I need to do here is I need I need to go on the, uh, the hunt for mods in order to uh, make a lot more... make this, this look a lot more... make a lot more sense. I gotta make some uh, European homes. This is kind of a mixed mash. So for now, let's start fixing the highway a little bit, like I said I would do. Gangsters run my neighborhood? They sure do. Alright, for the, for the most part, this highway system is good. But we need to fix... Uh, well, this is purposely garbage. But let's fix this area a little bit. I wasn't entirely happy with this on-ramp here. So let's do a little highway fixing. So that way things look a little better. And function a little better, too. Cars are floating? Yeah, because I, I moved the road from out from under them. You know, this really gives me a lot of respect, though, for the... I, those channels deserve a lot of love. I really... When I when I get the time, I want to give some more of them shout-outs, because it's very... Uh, it is not easy to make these types of uh, roads or anything like that. Now let's make a nicer on-ramp. Is there a way to get rid of nodes? Like to link two parts of the highway together? Or do I just scoot it back? Takes you like an hour to make a decent interchange? Yeah, um, even if you're using mods. I'm moving, I'm using the Move It mod right now, and that is so good in order to, uh, like scoot bridges and stuff around after you place them. Like you can, you can seriously just make like a crappy bridge and then fix it. Oh, another mod I want to get to is, uh, I should have a stone up. Stone Bridge mod. I want to make something like that. Alright, well, goal number one then. Let's fix this inter overpass interchange deal and make it look decent. So goal one is Operation Interchange. Let's go. You sent me a Twitter link. Oh, really? Okay. On Twitter? Yeah, if you guys want to tweet me, uh, you can follow me down below too. And a uh, cool thing about Twitter is if you guys ever have any mods or anything you want me to see, you can just uh, link me on Twitter. That is a huge... That is a huge off-ramp lane. Look at that. That is huge. 
What happens if uh, it unfreezes? Oh, the cars just snap back to the path. They're essentially just following a little line, an invisible line that's on the road. Thumbs up from France. Can't wait to visit Raptoria. Yeah, I'm glad uh, you're watching from France, by the way, because this section over here was kind of inspired by f some French highways that I've seen where they go, like, high above farmland. Like this. Like this kind of the, fr the French area a little bit. Except the, uh, the roadway doesn't look right. The French have really put in some wonderful work in um, building, like, suspension bridges that are way higher up than that over farmland. And it's because there's, like, a valley. So the French, instead of building into the valley, which probably would be just as expensive as building the bridge, just went to build the bridge. Because otherwise you'd have to change the path of the highway, and if you did that, it'd probably be even more expensive. Okay, so let's try to build something decent. How much are plane tickets to Raptoria? Uh, one, one new member. <laughs> Click the join button. You can visit anytime you want. Fine, I think I've made this worse than better, to be fair. Let's try to modify things a little bit and see how it can function. Yeah, we're making we're making a 90 degree exit. You have to stop literally in the highway. Well, we certainly don't want it to look that way. But I also don't want that either. Do, do, do. Of course, there are also many more highway mods, too, for this game that uh, allow you to make, like, uh, like a secondary lane. Like, for example, uh, there are mods that will allow you to make a fourth lane here, and then this will be the exit lane for the for that uh, ramp once you come up to it, and then there'll be, like, an extra apron there to, to get off the highway. So there's way more options with mods. So I'll have to go on the hunt for that. Okay, well, I've succeeded in... Uh, let's give myself a round of applause. Succeeded in making it worse. All right. Actually, we could probably just d delete this thing altogether and, and build a, something totally different. A bit sharp that turn, for sure. It should look a little bit more like this. But also, I would argue that this is pretty sharp, too. It just doesn't feel right without a, without a lane here. Most highways that I've seen, if you're going to exit, it'll say, like, you know... Uh, you know, it'll say downtown, next right, and then there's a lane that goes on for like a quarter mile or something like that, and then you exit, not like exiting from the actual highway, but from the from the merge lane to either merge on or off of the highway. Well, the highway is certainly going to be an important thing. We just need to make it look a little less burp. But I have way too much ADD too in these games, because I just want everything to like. I want there to just be a fix button, like just. You know, like, just do this. Alright, and fix. And then just go go on to the next thing. You know, like, when you use in uh, Photoshop, when you use the, uh, like, the auto-complete mode or whatever? Uh, run a slight double lane slow merge. What I need is mods. I need a, a different mod or something. Well, we could fix our Spaghetti Western off-ramp. Let's do that. I'll bulldoze and rebuild that with some sort of a mod, but let's try to fix this area. Let's do something here. Let's see what we can do. The train junctions look sharp? Uh, I could do better on those, too. Yeah, we're, I'm certainly going to watch a lot of other YouTubers now and get some good ideas. There's so much talent in the community, I love it. Alright, so we should probably build like an avenue. Do a peace sign road? Yeah, we could. Yeah, there's not too many, uh, road mods. There's a few mods that are, uh, like, so good that you only need to get, like, three of them. They almost do everything. Yeah, I gotta build a retaining wall or something there. Try 
this. I think we need a roundabout or something. Elevated roundabout? No, this one's gonna sit on the surface here. I just need to make an intersection for it to cross. We'll have to do like a... We'll have to do like a 5 by I don't know if I can do this with a highway though. Oh, you can. I guess can't. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> a square roundabout? Well, then that'd be a square about. That's nothing to write home about. Alright, let's try a different road. Hmm. Where's the one lane road? lane one way. Let's do a three. Stop. Game keeps like notifying me of new stuff all the time. I got a game. There's new stuff. That was wrong. There we go. Decent, but all right. So now, today, the game really begins because now we got to get super creative with what we're doing. And, uh, it's going to be really interesting to see how things develop. Game, quit telling me about new stuff, dude. Hey, there's a new school, and there's another new school. Oh, and there's a high school. Oh, and a middle school. And then there's preschool, and then there's kindergarten, and then there's a play place behind the McDonald's. Okay, game, calm down. Dude, stop. Yep, we can put statues in the circle. Actually, you know what's great is the City Skylines official YouTube channel uh, takes a lot of... Uh, I forget, there's another YouTuber from, I think, Portugal or maybe Spain. I think it's Portugal. And he's really good at... I think he made a French Town series, and he's really good at like filling every ounce of space in and around roundabouts. So like he'll have a roundabout and then he'll have uh, bypass lanes like if if you were coming up to a roundabout and you were just going to turn right you don't even go into the roundabout you just like you take the right lane that loops over this way but then he fills in all this like there's space between all those roads and he just does some incredible work I'm gonna have to this is gonna be a long and arduous uh, process because I'm gonna have to look at pictures and get some cool ideas that way by just looking at a picture I can learn a ton that's gonna be a lot of fun I can't wait to do that. Game, hey, why are you trying to build a tunnel? Okay, apparently we're underground now. We'll just build it above ground then. Let's just 
Let's get the roads down first, and then I'll fix them with the move it tool. There we go. Okay, time to move it. I hope this really helps the developers to make a better game, all these cool mod tools that the community made for the next time. As where EA would have just made it a DLC. Hey, you want to build a park? Try our uh, Parks and Bloops DLC. That's going to be $49.95. Oh yeah, and then Bethesda charging for single player mods. Yeah. Companies gotta stop being greedy and just all you gotta do, uh, make a good game, and then uh, communities will just support you to the ends of the earth. Like City Skylines, sure they they make a lot of extra little uh, little DLCs and stuff, but then the, the, you you get to add on to that. It's like it's like American Truck Simulator. Like sure, you could buy ATS and then just download all the mods for the whole United States, but you know a professional company adding all that stuff by themselves, and then people adding on to it, it's, it's a symbiotic relationship. The more that a company adds to a game, and the more that they allow their community to mod, makes for it's perfect. They make a nice recipe, we tweak, uh, tweak it a little bit, and it becomes delicious. Right, I gotta figure out a way to bring this road out now. I'm really doing this in a bad area, because I don't have a lot of space here. Maybe we should make the... Maybe we'll raise the land here and give the train a tunnel or something so I can actually use the space. Let's do that. Right, let's raise the ground and give ourselves a little bit more build room. Why is that not smooth? There we go. Yeah, companies allowing mods are what keeps games alive a lot of the times. GTA is heavily modded. People mod that game all the time. I'll we'll have to learn to make... I'm going to have to do a lot of uh, watching some videos to make some cool highways. This is a pretty good start, though. I'm going to... I'm going to enjoy this immensely. Alright, let's see. Let's build a two-lane. Stop, game. Jeez, every time I put my thing down there. Hey, there's a hospital. You want to build that? No, I'm building a road. Oh, okay. Hey, there's a pier available. Do you like piers? No. I hate them. Get out of here. Okay. Hey, there's a new Dairy Queen mod. Now, let me click on everything. Okay, now nothing's new. Now leave me alone. I've looked at it all. Jeez. Can't get any peace and quiet in this game. Well. Dude, just stop. Look at all these cool roads, though. Ooh, a busway. Bus only road. Doo -doo. Is there a highway rest stop mod where motorists can take a break? That's a good idea. Uh, I think you could probably build one. All it really takes is, like, some generic ploppable buildings in a parking lot and some signs that just say rest stop. Essentially this game is mostly just like a, a toolbox. There's tons of tools, it's just up to you to kind of make something out of it. Alright, let's see what happens. Yay! 
Okay, now we can fix everything with the move it tool. I mean, this is a game-changing mod right here. The move it tool is absolute perfection. Don't know if I like that swinging over to the right like that. There we go. This is looking good. So this is what this series is going to become now. If you've ever watched City Skylines before, you know that if somebody's building a uh, roundabout, it could be like a four-hour series. Like, there's uh, videos out there of people building malls from the 80s. And it's like, hi, everyone, welcome back. Part 74 of me building the McDonald's drive through Like, wow, dude, that's dedication. I got nothing but respect for that. Is this city? Is this some city music? This is so good, dude. Okay, the problem with this road is it's gonna have to swing over quite far. Get over here, you. Imagine if this is how we really built Ro- wow, look at that. That's the Duke Boys jump right there. Am I turning up the music? No, it's- it's called a crescendo. But I only have Xbox, YouTuber! Okay. Not what I said, but alright. Yeah, we got a Duke Boys jump. This guy's going ham on that ukulele, you hear that? Oh, the road's getting better. It's getting better, boys. This part's just a little more complicated because the highway doesn't come straight into this zone. And I kind of like it for that. I want to see how uh, complicated... Uh-oh, we got bumps again, though. You know what I really want to see is uh, somebody make, like, a Japanese uh, map because the Japanese are very efficient at layering highways and roads and things on, and pathways and bikeways on top of each other. And it's really neat because... A lot of the times those roads pass right by like train stations and stuff so you won't even you won't even know it's there. It's cool. Oh, here we go. Now we just got to find out how to make a turn that looks good here. I can't wait to get into this more and then we'll we'll just be hanging out. And it'll be like, oh, oh, Raptor's on parts 41 of building his uh, Walmart parking lot. Now he's adding the uh, carts that are never returned to the, uh, uh, to the cart corral. And, uh, oh, look, a random plastic bag flying around. Oh, the Shinkansen? Yeah, the uh, Japanese bullet trains, yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go, boys. Now we're starting to make a road. Beautiful. It's starting to look good. Be proud of me. It's starting to look mediocre at best. Just got to adjust that curve a little bit. I think I need to remove one of the sections. Let's try removing that. Other than this, this looks really nice to start with. Raptorian Pride, yeah. Well, to be fair, whenever they make highway off-ramps and on-ramps, this is how long it takes them just to design them, too. Oh, I 
guess it chose to go up a little bit. Oops. Oh, well, Japan is just very good at maximizing space because, you know, every every inch of land in Japan is a premium. So you want to be able to accommodate the most amount of people in the least amount of space with the most amount of efficiency. Well, this is much better. So th this is the way you'd go to get onto the highway. We just got to flip it around, but this is looking better. Not Not good there, but definitely good here. Oh, that's really good there. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're getting there. part is definitely good. Let's build it this way. Jay Garcia, thank you for subbing. Try to bring the highway up a little bit. like the shades? Thanks, Jay. That's very nice. Oh, well, now that the highway is off the ground a little bit, this should be easier to make. All right, thanks, Ryan. This part's harder, though, because it's further away. Okay, I think that's better. Now let's just bring the road up a little bit. Ryan says one more. Glory to Raptoria. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you for the support. Ah, here we go. Now we're on to it, boys. There we go. Okay. Let's uh, bring this up a little bit. Is there a tool or a mod that lets you see elevation of uh, roadways and things? It'd be nice to see if this was actually completely flat. 
It's okay if it's off a little bit. Also, there's a little bit of tearing in the road, but that's okay. Boys, I think we got it. There we go. That's much better than it was. Additionally, I could have, uh... Additionally, I could have probably had the highway swing over this way a little bit, but having that turn is nice because we want to worry about elevation there, so that's good. Okay, so now we've got a way, so if you're coming onto the highway, you'll be able to come off the highway here and, and cut through the intersection. We'll worry about fixing the lighting and stuff later. And then we just need to kind of... Ooh, oh, oh! Uh-oh. Uh, it doesn't want to cooperate, does it? It was good, but then I had to fiddle with it, didn't I? Chanta, thanks for seven. No, that's a lot of damage! I know, damage to my pride. You never seen me live before? I'm live and kicking. Alright, let's see. I feel like we need to fix this. New subscriber shout out. I need to like I don't know if I want to make it a perfect uh, thing. You know what I mean? Shinkansen bullet train system? Well, this is one city, and a bullet train goes between cities. So I certainly could make like a train station, or two maybe. But right now we're working on the highway. And I'm not very happy with this. Also, I, there's some really nice mods that uh, change the, um, like that create concrete support structures that kind of like cut off the from it making, look, making it look like a cliff and it actually looks like a retaining wall. Alright, let's see how this looks from the ground view. Actually not bad, but that turn is a little tight and a little low. I don't know if I want to make this go up any higher. Not that. Ooh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Problem is though, if you change one thing, you gotta change it all. Actually, that's that's actually perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. That's it. Let's take a look. The elevation doesn't change too much. Yeah, that's it. So that's going on to the highway, and the other one's coming off. Too bad I can't reverse them because I, I would imagine there'd probably be more traffic backed up, but we can uh, adjust it so there's no stoplights or anything. Nice. Very good. Yeah, that looks perfect. Now we'll see if the road maintains its perfection when we add some of these. I certainly need to make those bypass lanes and stuff, but I'm not 
I'm too noob in order to do that. Let's build a train tunnel. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, I just want to build rails. Oh, I gotta build a train station first? Okay. Build a train station to unlock it. All right. So note to self: we're gonna have to get different tunnels too, because that other, otherwise that causes tearing. So I, I guess rather than maybe working on the neighborhood. I'd be better set to just start working on infrastructure because that's kind of one a little bit more interesting and two uh, doesn't really require as much other than just patience to uh, lay things out. So we'll have to switch the tunnels so there's less tearing too. That's not good. Uh, create a public transportation that's less car traffic. Well, that's what this area is for. We're going to have a train station over here, uh, probably, and then some smaller roads. So this area here, the old downtown, I mean, essentially what Raptoria started as is there's the castle, the farming area, and the old city. But, of course, we're going to have to add on to it as it's more of a modern city now. Yeah, this might be a high-speed train line, possibly. There are certain areas that are pretty capable of being that, but we'll have to fix our highway system, too. But I'd say the highway system from... Uh, right here to down here is now perfect. So this area is complete. So we are marking this area as done, done for now at least. Done for now. Looks good. And I uh, didn't want the highway system to continue down here any further. This is going to be more uh, avenues and such. Yeah, the switch around is good. So that way if you need to go back the other way, you'll, you'll, you can basically just go through here. <clears throat> then we've got options to turn on and off traffic, but we'll we'll worry about that later. I'll uh, fiddle with uh, light posts and whatnot later. Stop signs, that type of thing. Okay, well that's good. Now the next thing I want to do is worry about this intersection, but I'm gonna I'm gonna download some mods for that and homes too, and maybe just for the highways in general, new bridges and also a new train bridge too. I'd like to build. You know, be great is to build a beautiful stone bridge here, right in the center or here. But we'll see. Walking and biking for the center of the town? Yep, I think we could do that too. Gonna have to make a way for... Actually, I'll have to make a way for people to get from the highway down here. So we should create a... Uh... We'll need to create a way to get off the highway down here. I think we could probably make a... Something maybe here to go down that way. We'll need to have, like, a grand drive or something down here. A major street. Something like that. Somewhere. We'll figure that out. We're gonna have to p figure that part out for sure. Oh, yeah. Ferry system. Yeah, water. Using some of that. I like that. Underpass. Yeah, we're gonna build something here. This is going to be like the main old city here. So we're going to have to be careful about the roads we use. I wonder if I can use cobblestone or something like that. One lane street with parking, yeah. It'll be like Gamla Stan in Sweden, kind of. I think there's cars allowed on that island. Let's see. find a, a road. Basic road with median grass and trees. Oh, this looks nice. 
Gamlestan, that's it, you're right, cars are allowed there. Parking is super expensive, yeah, I would imagine. Took the subway there once. Um, actually, what, what about tiny roads? No tiny roads with trees? Darn. Well, this is tiny enough, I think. This is big enough for that island. So let's get started with this road. We'll have to figure a bridge across, too. New subscriber shout out. Nine Blair, thanks for seven. Okay. This should be more like a capital city where the main part is all zoned and regulated like Paris and DC and then have outer business district with skyscrapers and modern city feel. Agreed. That's exactly what we'll do. It'll take us some time to kind of figure it out, but oh look at that painted medium. I really what I think I should do is probably start small because I'm kind of detail oriented to where if I if we I think what we should do is start building on roads and also this downtown area because if I build on the like up here I don't know if I'm going to do as well on plopping all that stuff and doing that that was kind of like me you know kind of like experimenting what are some of these smaller roads here two lane road oh are these not laned ah very nice except that's going to be a problem I'm gonna have to figure out how to do canals here now. I don't I don't think I can build canals where there's already water, can I? Let's try this. Can I can I do this? Oh, looks like I can build in the water. Okay. What I should do then is cut off all the water here, let it evaporate, and then we'll build the we'll build the canals here first. So that way we have nice uh, square edges, and then we can build roads and stuff easily. So let's prepare to do that. Ba, ba, ba. Too bad there's not like a little floodgate or something you can New build. Subscriber shout out. Uh, raise the land and then rebuild? I don't think I want to raise the land. I just want it to be a uh, square. I do need to find a corner of the map though so I can... There we go. Yeah, that's why City Skylines won, because it include it started to include things like uh, canals and subway stations, and Sim Sim City was like, nah, we're not gonna have any of that. Nobody nobody wants to build nobody wants to build underground systems and stuff like that. It's like, uh are you sure about that? Right, it's gonna take a while to evaporate, but it should be done now. Alright. Well, that is it for today's episode, everybody. Thank you very much for joining me. We're going to get started on uh, doing some more to, uh, probably tomorrow, or maybe every weekend or so I'll work on this, whenever I've got free time. Now that the map is done, I'll uh, upload that to the workshop so you guys can fiddle around with it and uh, make it massive improvements and stuff like that. Uh, next time we play, we'll work on the downtown district here, and we'll work on a way to connect it to, and I'll find a bunch of mods that make something look like an old town feel. We'll see if we can, uh, We'll see if we can fill in the canals here and do some other stuff like that. So, All right, everyone, thank you very much for watching today. You're all fantastic. On your way out, make sure you click or tap that like button if you're excited for the next episode. And subscribe if you're new here. Your name will pop up, too. Thanks to all the new people becoming members today. That was crazy. So thank you very much for all the uh, everybody clicking and tapping join buttons. It's a great way to support the channel and get something from it, too. So you all take care. I will see you uh, hopefully soon for more City Skylines. We'll play it whenever we play it. It might not be the next time, but... If you're wondering, just click or tap the notification bell and subscribe, and then whenever you see me playing it, that's when we'll play it next. All right, everybody, have yourself a pleasant rest of your weekend, and I will uh, see you very soon for more. This was a lot of fun, so thanks for joining me, and I'm glad that we finally finished the map. Now we can start on the city. Goodbye, everyone, and take care. Anonymous, thanks for seven. And Andrew Leiter and uh, Nine Blair and Wesley Klein as well. You guys are great. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.
subscriber shout out.